Hello friends, so today in this video, we are going to discuss the third problem from the latest educational code forces round 108, problem name Berlin region. So this problem uh, seems difficult at first, but it's not too difficult. It just a, has a very simple implementation. So uh, I just messed up with the code because uh, like I, I thought that I was lagging. So I just write down some like, uh, like my, my code is not too clean, but my logic is very simple. So I will tell you the logic part. You can also like modify my code out. You can check that code out also. And you can also write down the code if you understand the logic part. So like the code can be uh, easily written down. I just messed up with the cleaning of the code. The code is not too like the not clean uh, for my part, but uh, from my side, but uh, like the logic is very simple. So I'll go through the problem first. It actually states that uh, I'll tell you in simple terms. It states that there are n universities and then for every university like what they actually have given you that there are n students okay and uh, i'll tell you in the example part also as you can see there are seven students and the first student is from the first university and the student has a skill set of six the second student is from the second university has a skill set of eight the third student is, is from the first university skill set of three and so on so you, these are the call university which is given and these are the like the skill set for those person now the act now they actually are given here is now you have to somehow form like you actually you actually have to give some integer key okay you have to somehow choose some integer key such that 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 key is the team size now every university will send teams of size k to some competition like there is no restriction of how, how many teams you can send but the team size should be k i hope you get the point so let's assume that some university has uh let's assume that some university has eight students okay eight students so you can form a team size of four and four okay you can form a one team of size eight also but and you can form eight teams of size one okay but if you want to form a team of size 3 then you can form one team of size 3 another team of size 3 but now two students are left so these cannot form like they like they they will not be sent to the competition i hope you get the point so two students are left out so now they actually see that okay if the the students which are actually left out are the students which are having less capability so as you can see every student has some skill set okay now if you have some skills or some students are given and you will form some team which will you will be sending to the competition so obviously you will leave out because you know that two students will be leaving out so you will obviously leave out the students which have less capability so that the two teams which will be forming of size 3 the two teams which will be forming of size 3 this is size 3 and this is size 3 like they have the maximum uh, capability so now they are actually given in this problem is that for every k possible like k starting from 1 till 7 for every k what you actually have to tell is here is that if for every like if my student size or if my group size is equal to 1 or if 2 3 4 for all the numbers from till 7 if this is my group size what is the maximum score of the skills you can get at the competition so as you can see i'll tell you in simple terms as you can see if k is equal like as you can see in the first example there is only two types of university one and two okay so you can like somehow uh, like segregate out the like the students in this university so as you can see in the first university the students are of the capability 6 3 5 and 5 and in the second university is 8 1 1 now these are the students at these universities okay now if you want a group of size 1 then obviously this university will send all the students of size 1 and this will send all the students of size 1 so the total strength at the competition is summation of all of these if you said that i want group of size 2 then this university will send these two students these two students and this university will send these two students this student is left out because that has the less power or less capability so this is a total which is like the total of this minus one so as you can see this is 28 so if this is 20 and this is 28 because one is left out if the group size is three then obviously you will pick out these two students and you will pick out these three students if the group size is four then you can pick out these students but because the size of this is three you cannot pick out so that's the whole problem now i hope you get the point so you just have to tell that what is the maximum score at the whole competition now uh, first what you can observe in this problem is first you have to segregate out all the students according to their universities the first thing is there the second thing when you segregate out all the students then what you can second thing you can observe is 
I always leave out the students which has the less capabilities out. So you can sort them out. Okay. So you can somehow sort the students out so that you can know that okay, if I want to leave out one student, then I will leave out the last student. If I sort down in the like increasing order, then if I want five students and this is of size six, then I will leave out the first student. If I want a size of size four, I will leave down the first two students. And so so on. So it means that I want the submission of all of these students. All of these students like or maybe you can assume that this is some so after sorting out you have like these are the capabilities at the university so th like maybe there are five students so th th these are the capabilities which is like after sorting out it will become like this uh, like six eight nine nine ten these are the capabilities after sorting out and if you want let's assume five students so you will pick out all the five students in the group if you want four students then what you'll do you will leave out the student so it means that you have if you know the submission of this whole then you can just subtract out the first element because you don't have to subtract like calculate the submission of all this again and again so it means that you, you also require prefix sum if you have prefix sum and this is sorted out then if you want if you want that i want to leave one student you just take the submission of all the students which is like the last element minus the first element if you want the like if you want that i don't want two students out so just two students out so the submission of the whole array which is this minus the last two elements which is this so you can just oh, easy do this in o of one okay so just have to calculate the perfect sum for everything so the simplest thing can be for segregate all out all the students then for then sort them out and find out their prefix sums after finding out the prefix sums then you just have to do the same thing out okay so uh, let's assume that this is the students out in the university so then you will iterate over every possible university and what you'll do you'll do the, you'll do the simplest thing you you know that i want a group of size one so you will make an array for every possible so if i take out the first university this is the first university second university and so on this is the first university students they are sorted out if i make a group of size one then how many students are left just tell me so as you can see every student will form into one group and the total number of students is the total submission which is like the total so that so if k is equal to one the answer is the total sum of this array which is like the last element so you, you just put down there x1 if i make a group of size 2 and this is let's assume that, like this is of size 6 okay then uh, let, let, okay then also you can form out two two pairs and then also if you form out two two pairs i hope you are you are still with me so you have an array which is sorted out you have prefix sums and now if you have prefix sums and you want that if i have a group of size k equal to one then like what is the if i have k equal to one what is the maximum like skill set this university is sending to the competition what is the maximum skill set this university is sending it will send all the students because every student can form a group of size one and thus you can add the total to this which you can formed out using prefix sums fine now if k is equal to two if how many groups you can send of size two i can send all the students as you can see i can group them so the total power or total strength you are sending to the competition is again full which is like the whole group if you have x equal to three then also you can send the whole group into size of three so how you are finding out that how many groups you can form and you can form that the groups you can form is actually the total size of this mod k because k is the total groups like you can form one group here one group here and whatever is the modulus left will give you how many elements are not taken so i'll tell you in simple terms it states that if you have six elements six uh, people in the group and k is equal to one you will do k like six mod k equal to zero which means that you can form six groups if k is equal to two you will do six mod two then also it is zero which means that you can form like all the groups without any element left because the mod is zero if k like if k is equal to three mod three then also it is zero if k is equal to four then you can see that the mod is equal to two which means that you will form only one group and two elements are left which means two element are left so the total summation minus the two smallest element and two smallest element you can get that the first two elements are the two smallest element so that first two elements you can just get the sum by prefix sums and minus the totals the total summation you know that first two elements summation you know just you can just find out okay this is the total strength i will be sending in in the competition if i have a group of size uh, like group of size four and group of size five and so on 
and then you can do this everything for every university possible and then you can just print out the answer and that's the simple logic i, I hope you get the point uh, if you can rewatch this video if you do not understand it you just have to sort out um, uh, like according to the universities like first filter out according to the university sort them out find out the prefix sums and finding out prefix sum then iterate over every possible university okay if this is the current university what is the total strength this university is sending to the competition the, how many groups this is actually sending out so this, you can find out a total size mod k this is the total groups it is sending how many elements are left if some element is left total sum minus the how many elements are left you can find out using prefix sums and then you can keep on adding it to the k and that's answer I'll show the code part. The code is a little bit messy for me. If you have understand the logic, you can type the code for also, but you can also look at the code. So I have first taken input of the universities and the uh, skills and then make a map out of it because map is like uh, for every the map is like integer, which is like university and the vector, which is like inserting out for every student. What is the university? So this is actually storing out uh, the values. Then I have actually now instead of uh, like iterating on map i actually make a vector a z okay this random name in which i just iterate over this again map and now this map has some university number and this segregated students which is like the first set is of these batches this is second batch and so on which is like the sec first university second university so i just take out that university like all the students because I, I just now worry about the students i don't actually what what which university they belong this is one university students this is a second university students so i will take out that vector and sort them out and insert them in this az vector so now this az vector has all the sorted students now what i actually have to do here is now i actually have to form the prefix sums so now i actually make another vector z and store out the prefix sums and this is the answer for storing out this k like uh, what is the final answer it is of size n because like as you have told you k ranging from 1 till n okay then the final thing can be i iterate over every university which is like every university it is stored here z is actually stored the prefix sums so prefix sums is actually every university have its prefix sums so i will iterate over every prefix sum and then i just find out how many students are left so left is the size of this prefix sums mod j j is actually uh what is j is j is uh the size I have to iterate for every possible size the size can be one till the total size of the vector okay so which means that if i have uh, six elements the groups like i can make a group of size one i can make group of size two i can make group of size three four five six i cannot make a group of size seven so why just to calculate that out okay so the maximum group i can form is of size six for this example so i just iterate over from one till six like what is the maximum size i can trade and for that size i will find out how many students are left this is the left part if this is the left part okay i will find out that how many students if let's assume that the left is zero like no students is left then it is fine if let's assume that three students are left then if three students are left i have to find out how many students how many total i have to delete out so delete out is i will only delete out this is the value which will show out how many delete out it is zero which means that like i don't have to delete out anything but if left is greater than zero left means that there are some students left then, then what i will do i will find out the prefix sums like this is the prefix sum of left minus one because let's assume that three students are left so three students are left so till what point i have to take out the prefix sum second index so that the second index i will take out the prefix sum and then the answer of at that point is because it is zeroth indexing and this is going from one indexing k is equal to one so i just j minus one which means that i am putting at that index so what is the total is i dot back back is the last with the maximum element of the prefix sum which is actually a total sum minus how many students are not going so what is the total strength which is not going which is in this delete out you can watch the code out it's not too difficult you're actually iterating over every possible batch size and for every possible batch size you just find out how many students are not there which are like not going which is not going so if two students are not going so how many so if this is a prefix sum so if two students are not going what is the prefix sum value you have to take out the sub array for from zero till two if three students are not going so zero till two so two means that uh three, left minus one is the students i have to take out this is the number which i have to de delete out if there is no students then the delete is zero if there are some students which have to delete then this is the delete and from which value you have to delete out the maximum value the maximum students minus the number which are not going this is the delete out and then you just have to take over the whole answer vector for printing out what is the final answer
I hope you understand the logic and the code part. You can rewatch this video if you have still any doubts. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, keep coding and bye.